Today, we are going to honor one of Nevada's finest. His service to our country is very important. Tom Don is a well-respected member of our community. My name is Melanie Kunzeroth. And I am Sam Hansen, and we are 7th grade language arts students at Nevada Middle School. We are here to pay tribute to a great veteran who served our country proudly. This is the story of Tom Don. Tom Don is a caring, thoughtful, joyful man. He was born and raised in Ames, Iowa, and got drafted in 1968. He went to the Army when he was 18 in the boot camp. He mentioned what you need to know during time in the military. He traveled to many different places. Tom talks about family and friends many times. Tom is a part of family where they take their time and dedication to serve our country. The first ever draft in the United States was in 1942. Not until the Vietnam War, they held two lottery drafts. In December 1st, 59, two-thirds of American troops were volunteered, and then the remaining troops were drafted. The first draft lottery was based around your birthday. The second draft lottery was based around your initials. The selective service system randomly picked men to serve by their initials and birthday for the Vietnam War. They changed the age requirements. It didn't matter if you were the oldest. For example, 19-year-olds could get drafted before 25-year-olds. According to the National Archive, out of 27 million eligible American men between the years 1964 and 1973, the draft raised 2,215,000 men for the military service. One of those men was Tom Dalton. Tom got drafted into the military. Being drafted in the military is like getting picked to do something special. Sometimes people are ordered by the government to serve, which is what drafting is. When he was drafted, he decided to join the Army. The Army is an organized fighting unit. Tom was placed in boot camp in Missouri. Tom mentioned in boot camp, you have to run so many miles in a certain amount of time, and you have to do so many push-ups and pull-ups in a certain amount of time. If you don't pass your physical standards, you don't get promoted. Discipline Express is what the Army values. It's one of the standards that they do for their mindset. Tom got deployed to three different places. He went to Germany, Afghanistan, and Iraq. The war that was going on at that time was the Vietnam War. His two brothers went to the Vietnam War while his brother and him went to Germany. Was the food good, we asked? The MRE was good. The MRE is meals ready to eat. They were packaged foods that they could warm up. For example, you could have spaghetti. I was a sergeant first class, which is E7. They also do individual training, and they are in charge of the smallest armies. The army base wasn't all just work. They would have people come perform for them. On Christmas, Bob Hope came and performed for the soldiers on the army base. Tom had three older brothers that were also in the military. Tom's son is now serving in the Army. He got very passionate when he talked about family. When we asked, do you have any stories from when you were in the military? It was a very hard topic to talk about. Tom hopes his granddaughters will soon join the military when they are old enough. He met good friends and still follows up with them sometimes. Tom's son followed in his footsteps. Dustin went to the Army right after high school, just like his father. Right now, Dustin's a rank lower than Tom was before, which is a staff sergeant. Tom thinks it's a great thing for people to do. If I could, I'll do it over again, Tom says. Tom said, I feel good today. Being in the Army impacted his family when he was gone. It impacted the way his son grew up and impacts the way he lives now. Tom's family are all dedicated to serving their country and are proud to be serving for our rights to be free. He learned many things in boot camp, such as being on time and always early. He always contacted his family by sending a letter. His family was very important to him. Today, Tom feels great and he's still the caring, thoughtful, joyful man we know. Your family are the real heroes when you're gone. Tom Don is a hero. We'd like to thank Tom Don for his time with us and we would like to thank him for serving our country. He told us many stories when when he was around us, he was very happy. I could tell that he cared a lot about his family. Again, we would like to thank this caring man for his time.